All right, so the next step is we have created a report. Now we need to connect to a database, to a set of data, so we can create a report for our data. We're going to connect to our AdventureWorks DW data warehouse. So we're going to use the data from the AdventureWorks sample data from Microsoft and create a report. So we need to connect to our database. If you don't know what I'm talking about, to just let me show you this really fast. <clears throat> So here it is uh, the regular database. And in here in my database, you can see that I have Adventure Wars 2017. Here is a data warehouse, has my tables. So I had to connect to them in order to create reports. I'm going to minimize this. So let's go and do that. So for in our left, where it says data report data, I have a data source, so is the, you have data, shared data source in the right, shared data sets, and here you have the data source. So we're going to add a data source, so we're going to connect uh, to the AdventureWorks. <clears throat> in this example, I'm going to use what is, uh, you can find in most uh, books uh, how they do it. Uh, you should do your own if you create it with your own data. But I'm going to try this as simple as I can. And I'm going to call adventure. So A for adventure, DW, data warehouse, right? I want to make sure that I have here Microsoft SQL Server selected. All right. And in here, I'm going to uh, click in the connection string here and I'm going to click build. Here in my build, right, I'm using Microsoft SQL Server because that's where I'm getting my uh, data from. And in the server name, I'm going to connect to my local host. In this case, is the name of my computer, my server, in my local host, in my local client here. It takes a few minutes. If it's taking a while to connect, don't panic. It takes a little while to connect to the server. There you go. So now I'm connecting to my server. So I'm connecting actually to this. So I'm connecting to this. And this next thing that I need to do, since I'm connected to tell what I'm going to use inside my database. So what is that I'm using? I use an, the Windows Authentication. And here I'm going to grab the name of the database that I'm going to use. It's AdventureWorks DW 2017. And I'm going to say OK. All right, so I'm, I'm going to click OK, and there you go. I have my data source added.